Um, I've got a riddle for you. And I just want you, when you know the answer, put your hand up. What is something that we spend, that we waste? It moves quick, it can move slow. It's something that we talk about in all, ah, ah, I think you're first, what is it? Congratulations, you know the answer. Time is something that we talk about like it's a currency. It's something that we, we really, really talk about. We think we can control it or waste it or make it speed up. And, and all the time, do we actually budget it like we do our currency? What do we spend our time on? Do you ever stop and think about that? Do you have an emotional equity like you have a financial equity in your money? What's your emotional equity that you have tied in with your time? Now, I was someone who worked really hard, about a 60 hour a week job in Texas, and I love Texas for many reasons, but I don't miss those working conditions now that I moved to Australia. And when we immigrated here, my, my husband said to me, take your time. You don't have to go straight to work. You can have 24 hours a day to work on all those amazing things you had in your head. And I was screaming inside going, wow, wow, wow. For the first time in my life, I have time. I can use time on whatever I want. I can write that novel that I wanted to write. I can be in the best shape of my life. I can explore every corner of Adelaide. I can see all the street art. I can go to all the zoos. Wow, this is great. But there's a bit of a reality twist there, which is I absolutely had no idea what to do with myself. I was like that retired person that got depressed and bored because they didn't have work to fill up their time. And I found myself sitting at the beach almost every single day thinking, what am I going to do? I don't know anyone. I don't have a job to fill my space. I could do all these things, but I don't know if I can. And I was like, when your husband asked you, how was your day? My husband would come home and say, how was your day? And I would go, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so that leads me to my next thing, which is what now? When you break yourself down and realize that you've got this gift of time, what do you do with it? So I decided to start thinking about things. And I thought, what do people spend their time on? Well, a lot of people watch a lot of TV. I actually have a bumper sticker that says, kill your television. So that definitely wasn't going to be a plan for me. A lot of people work on their computers. And I admit it, I'm a total computer file. I'm on my computer all the time. And I probably needed to spend a little less time on the computer. Movies, books, video games, yada, yada, yada. Hanging out with friends. Well, I didn't quite have those yet, since I had never been to Adelaide before I moved here. I don't go to church. I really like sports, but you kind of have netball in this country. And being an American, we just we don't get that sport. Sorry, people. Like, I really don't understand how it works, so I couldn't really go and do that. And my family's on the other side of the ocean. Now, this is the interesting time where I said, what is it that I really want? And what I really wanted was a community. I wanted to feel like I was part of the social network of Adelaide. I wanted to feel like when I went to the central markets, I could say, yo, how's that project going, person I don't know yet? And, uh, hey, how are you doing? How are your kids? Do you have kids? You know? I really wanted to feel like I was part of Adelaide. And so I sat down with a pen and paper and I started thinking about all the things that I loved about my life in Texas and some things that maybe I can incorporate to my life in Adelaide. And the number one thing that I really loved about Texas that I thought Adelaide could use a big dose of was roller derby. Yay! <laughs> now, I have a really good friend who I have to credit for pushing me over the edge to start roller derby because he's from Canberra and he came to Texas and we took him to roller derby. And the whole week he's like, will you do this? When you move to Australia, will you do this? We start roller derby, we start roller derby. And when I moved here every week he would call me, are you ready to start roller derby league yet? Are you ready? Are you ready? And I'd be like, okay, Ed, I'll think about it. You know, I'll get my head around it. Now, I'm aware that some of you here actually probably don't know what I'm talking about because you've been living on a different rock than I have for the last four years. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about roller derby, which is what is slide. Roller derby is a crazy sport played on quad roller skates. That's the old school style, not the, don't ever say that we play on roller blades. We don't like that. They're actually roller skates. It started in the 1920s. And it lived on in different formations until the 1960s. 30,000 people would go watch roller derby games and fill out massive stadiums. It was an insane sport. But it was also a scripted sport. All of the penalties, all of the winning and losing was part of a soap opera, per se, of sport. And it was also at own sport. So the, the skaters were actually making a very small bit of money, and the people who were running the roller derby were making a whole lot of money, which is something I don't like. 
Um, these are kind of some images of what it was like. They would play on a bank track, which we don't do that anymore, and it was a full spectacle. There were fights, there were all sorts of things. Some of you know the queen of roller derby who skated for about seven decades, Anne Cavello, she was pretty amazing. Um, that's not really what we have today in roller derby. Today we play a flat track sport. And I came into Australia having seen a lot of roller derby because I'm from Austin, Texas, where that's where roller derby came into to being again in the year 2000. A group of crazy people under crazy circumstances started a crazy thing in Austin, Texas called flat track and bank track roller derby. That's kind of the way Austin is. They're a bit crazy over there. Um, through the years, it, it's changed and morphed into something I think is quite beautiful. And when I decided to start here in Adelaide, <laughs> being that I didn't know anyone or have a job or whatever, I stumbled across the Wheat Sheaf, and the Wheat Sheaf's now Adelaide Roller Derby's headquarters, and they let me put on an information night, and I said, great, I'm going to put all these slides, I'm going to show photos, I'm going to get people together, and they're going to love it, and we're going to have a roller derby in Adelaide, and it'll be great. Well, 30 people showed up, and they all kind of sat there like you are now staring at me. <laughs> and I'm like, isn't it exciting? And someone looked at me and actually went, what is roller derby? <laughs> And it dawned on me that I had moved into a country that really didn't know what roller derby was. And I had to readjust my whole thinking about what I was going to try to create here, which was really exciting because no one had any preconceived notions of what it was. So we could actually create a community out of whatever we wanted to create. This is a little bit of roller derby because I think you have to see it to know what I'm talking about. If you guys could start the film, that would be fantastic. Go! by the way, she's here today. Um, so we went from the information night to two years later, that's what roller derby was in the public eye here in Adelaide. How many of y'all been to see roller derby? Aw, oh, good on ya. That's great. Um, Adelaide roller derby is indeed a full contact sport, which is what we just showed you. It's a full contact sport where people go out and it seems like a bit of buffo and there's the whole fishnets and there's the whole crazy, people think everyone has tattoos in roller derby, they don't. Um, Roller Derby, Adelaide Roller Derby is so much more than just a sport. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the way we set up our organization. And maybe it'll encourage you to want to be a part of a local community in the same way as the Format Festival just talked to you about getting off your bum and, and joining something local. Adelaide Roller Derby is skater owned, 100% skater owned organization. If you're a member of Adelaide Roller Derby, you have an equal share in everything that we set up. Now this is something really important to us because we want it to be sustainable. We also want it to be representative of every member that comes into Adelaide Roller Derby. We have the ongoing motto that we wanted to create a daggy and endearing community. Those are very important words in our community, by the way. Where it doesn't matter who you are or what you look like and you never have to apologize for that. So every woman that joins Adelaide Roller Derby comes in and is completely accepted the way that she is. The other thing that we also do is we don't accept money donations from sponsors because we never wanted to take away from that skater owned sense. So we only have partnerships and those partnerships are 100% based with local organizations. So if you come to an Adelaide Roller Derby event, it's always going to be local companies who are involved. It's always going to be local bands who are playing and local community groups who are dancing or whatever we have going on. And we also try to engage local communities on ways outside of roller skating. That's something that gets me into the sense of empowerment. 
If you want to create a community where people feel like they want to be a part of it and they want to participate and they want it to grow, you have to empower them. So something we've done with Adelaide Roller Derby is we've made it a community in the sense, and I know we all keep using that word community today, but when you're part of Adelaide Roller Derby, the whole world of opportunities open up to you depending on what everyone brings to the table. So things I've learned since I've become part of Roller Derby, basic knitting, sewing, cooking, website content, <laughs> business management, how to deal with ticket queues with 3,000 people in it when you don't really know what to do, how to um, go out and speak in front of large audiences, how to run a camp, how to swing dance, how to, you name it. It's, it's actually something that we allow to be almost a community center in a virtual way. So every member of Adelaide Roller Derby feels empowered because they're an equal member of the community, and they can propose what they want to use the community for. We can raise money for the YWCA, which is something we regularly do, or St. John's Ambulance, which we also regularly do. We try to find a way within our organization to make Adelaide a cooler place, and to make Adelaide a more interesting environment, and also to make our lives feel like the time we're investing in roller derby has a really important return, not just for us, but for the people who are involved within our community. That's one of the reasons that I love Adelaide Roller Derby. Now, when you're becoming a derby girl, and I think this can be transposed across all community organizations, when you're thinking about joining a community organization, you have to go back to what we started off with today. You have to take a really good look at your own time and how you budget that time. Are you happy with what you spend your time on? Is it fulfilling? Do you go into your, you know, your week every week dreading that it's Monday and you just want to wait for Friday? Is there something that you can do to rearrange your life to make your time mean something more to you? And that's something that we have to ask people when they want to join roller derby is we say, do you have time and are you willing to change your schedule around to become involved in something that is very much so a participation-based community? The next thing we ask is, what is your community? Do you know what community is? Do you want to be a part of a community? Because this isn't just a sport. This is something that you have to take on board and you have to be an active member of. So basically, you've got to think about if that's something you want to be involved in. And the last thing is, is it's, it's your choice. And we all talk about what we do with our lives, and there's so many amazing ideas that have come out of today's talks. But the bottom line is, if you don't make the choice to act, then you're never going to make a difference and you're never going to be a part of something. We all wake up every morning and we make choices. We make choices about what we put on. We make choices about where we work. We make choices about all sorts of issues in our life. I think we should start making more choices about what we invest our time in and think about how that impl Im what implication that has for the whole community around us. I'm lucky because you know, I chose roller derby <laughs> and um, I think it's great. And to be quite honest, outside of getting married and immigrating to Australia, it's the most proud investment I have in my life. And it's because people come to me on a regular basis and say, before I joined roller derby, I was really depressed. I didn't have any friends. I was a mom with two kids at home alone wondering why am I just getting by in life. I've had people come to me and say, I've never gone out and done something on my own. And now I feel like I can go anywhere in the world on my own. I'm amazed by the amount of confidence and building just by being a part of something that's supportive. And I admit, it's a little bit crazy. We do beat each other up on roller skates. However, it's the premise behind it all in the community that can be part of anything. I don't care if you want to start something that is about microbrewing, or if you want to go out and do an Antarctic club, or if you want to try to find ways to change your life. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you choose it. If you wake up in your life and you make a choice and you want to be part of something, I want to be part of roller derby. And I'm really glad that I am. And I really want to thank Adelaide for embracing roller derby because it really has made a big difference in a lot of people's lives. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.